Tonight, 32 years minimum for the man who murdered a mother and her daughter in their Warwick home. One of the toughest sentences in WA legal... From the studios of Seven Perth, Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Good evening. As Nick Nat Nui and Ross Lyon join us live and exclusive. From the studios of Seven Perth, Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Good evening. It's a crime described by the WA Supreme Court as one of the worst of its kind. Two women, a mother and her daughter, bashed and stabbed to death by a stranger in their Warwick home on a Sunday morning. Today, the man responsible was told he'll spend at least 32 years in jail. We warn some of the details of this case could be confronting to viewers. Leslie Cameron was described in court as a ticking time bomb and the judge handed him one of the toughest sentences WA has seen. Chief crime reporter Grant Wynn takes a look at how a 19-year-old burglar and car thief graduated to become a rapist and killer. The victim of a paragliding accident at Yanchip was a young father with a nine-week-old baby. 22-year-old Kyle Whitstock plunged out of the sky and into a garage near his own home. Today, his devastated family told Seven News he was an experienced flyer who was in the middle of planning his wedding. News. More job cuts were announced today and a warning the state's credit rating could be downgraded again. Jessica van der Ende, why? Well, Sue, Standard & Poor's has put WA on a negative credit watch because of what it's calling a weakening budgetary position. It says the government simply must reduce spending massively or must increase revenue, perhaps by increasing taxes, an idea rejected by the Treasurer late today. This on a day Watercorp did confirm up to 300 public servants will be made redundant. And minor Fortescue has foreshadowed big job cuts are a definite possibility there, a result of the plummeting iron price. That prompted the state opposition to suggest mining executives should cut their own pay first before workers. Rick? Thanks, Jess. A man has been jailed for life for scaring a Perth taxi driver to death. Mandurah grandfather Lindsay Ferguson was so traumatised by a drug fuelled passenger he had a heart attack and crashed his cab. Samantha Jolly reports. Police need your help to catch an armed robber caught on security video with a knife. Staff at a southwest service station were threatened when the man demanded cash. It happened in Glen Iris about 5.30 this morning. The thief, described as fair-skinned and about 183 centimetres tall, then fled on foot. Police are standing by at Crime Stoppers for anyone with information to call on 1800 333 000. A Perth mother accused of squirting her breast milk at a police officer has made a public apology. But as Grant Wynn reports, the 27-year-old has been warned also she faces jail over the incident. The weekly chore of putting your bins out is about to change for some Perth households, with councils being paid to convert to a system of three bins. The state government hopes it will encourage WA to recycle, warning we currently send too much rubbish to landfill, but not everyone agrees. And we'd like to know what you think on the 7 News Perth page on Facebook. We're asking whether you want three bins. One lucky West Australian could soon be the state's newest millionaire. $40 million is up for grabs tonight. It's the biggest amount offered in Australia this year and the result of the jackpot rolling over for the past six weeks. More than 400,000 tickets have been sold. You can see the Oz Lotto draw in full exclusively here on 7 News straight after Angela's weather. Still to come here, what Ross Lyon and Nick Natanui have to say ahead of this weekend's Western Derby. They join Baz live and exclusive in sport. And a breakthrough for back pain. The new treatment getting results without pills, needles or surgery. And the golfer who got more than he bargained for, bitten by a croc while searching for a lost ball. only Aussie TV performance live on Sunrise next week.
In Seven's Money Watch, the share market has closed weaker again. The ASX 200 was down 13.7 points. The major miners have been feeling the heat as they prepare for their credit ratings to be cut in the face of plunging iron ore prices. But Fortescue bucked the downward trend after announcing a restructure to its FIFO rosters to cut costs and flagging possible job cuts, as we reported earlier. One Australian dollar is buying 75.8 US cents and just under 72 euro cents. A golfer got more than he bargained for when he was bitten by a crocodile on a Queensland golf course. The 1.2 metre saltwater crocodile was lurking in a waterway on the 11th hole when the man disrupted it while searching for his lost ball. I just went grab and then that took off. The man was taken to hospital with two puncture wounds to his leg. The crocodile is still on the loose. A new method of treatment could offer hope to millions of Australians with chronic back pain. Doctors are starting to move away from pills, injections and surgery and are instead opting to use lasers to relieve symptoms. News. A grieving family has arrived in the United States as the trial begins into who murdered young Australian Chris Lane. A jury was selected today to decide who gunned down the promising baseballer as he jogged on an Oklahoma street. The man accused of pulling the trigger is on trial facing life in jail. Two other accessories to the murder are serving time after making plea deals with prosecutors. A one-year-old boy has been shot dead in America and if that news isn't bad enough, the person who pulled the trigger was a three-year-old boy visiting for a play date. This fascination that we have with handguns, not just in the city, but in this country, has to stop. It's not yet clear who owned the gun. Police say whoever it belongs to could be charged. Time for sport now. Basil's here in another cruel twist for the Eagles, Baz. Yes, Sue, that's right. They've lost one of their vice captains for up to six weeks. Not the news they wanted in Derby Week. Coming up live and exclusive, Ross Lyon and West Coast Ruckman Nick Natanui back to back. And the glory say they can keep it together despite the club's salary cap drama. And you'll see it all here on 7 News. Finally, tonight we're giving away the hottest tickets in town. We've got four tickets to hand out for this weekend's Derby. All you need to do is head to the 7 News Perth Facebook page for details of how to win. And the countdown continues tomorrow night on 7 News. Two of the Dockers' main men, the skipper Matthew Pavlich and the man of the moment, Nat Fife. That's 7 News tomorrow night. See you then. Thanks, Baz. It's the biggest lotto jackpot of the year and it's here in full next. Plus, it's looking warmer and drier. and has the weather. Perth smokers ignoring the signs why they're not being fined. It's selfish behaviour. Thousands of Facebook users fall victim to cyber thieves. Is your page safe? Brownlow favourite Nat Fife blows the whistle on umpires. Give them constant feedback on their decisions. Plus my free kitchen rules. The Perth Cafe paid for by strangers. After all, Lotto. Now, Fuel Watch. Perth's petrol prices, brought to you by Fuel Watch and 7 News. Hello, you may get some showers at your place tonight, but they'll be light, then warm and sunny for the end of the week. The humidity is up to 78% tonight and it's 18.7 degrees outside. Today it peaked at 23 and it got down to 13.6 overnight. Across town, maximums range from 20 degrees right up to 24 on the coast. And the state's hottest place was Warman, where it soared to 39. Tomorrow it'll be damp in Albany, Esperance and also Kalgoorlie, but mostly sunny for Bunbury in 21 degrees and a top of 26 in store for Geraldton. Rottnest and Garden Island are the only places to have seen any rain from the weak front which has crossed the southwest and is about to make its way over Perth. Then a high will move in from tomorrow. Warm for Melbourne tomorrow after a morning shower or two. Sunny and 26 degrees for Sydney, dry and 27 for Brisbane. On our waters, winds will ease from late morning while the swell will increase to three metres. And tonight we could see some light showers around then, mostly sunny tomorrow and 23. 
degree. Blue skies continuing Thursday and Friday, followed by a warm, sunny weekend, getting up to 29 degrees for the Derby on Sunday. And before I go, congratulations to Lynn and John Davis, who have been married 60 years. Time now for Oslotto's $40 million jackpot. Good luck. Get your tickets ready. It's time for the Oslotto draw. This is the life.